Yo, what is going on guys? Dr. Schwaz here. Welcome back to another Gears 5 video. Today I'm going to be discussing uh, some tips and tricks for the Infiltrator class in PvE. So, let's get started here. So, the first tip I want to mention is that if you have a mechanic or a robotics expert in your horde game, be sure to ask for their overkill. This is a shotgun class, so having an overkill early will make this class really effective. It's a CQC class, you need bleed damage from close range, so uh, they spawn with an overkill so you can get one from them. A couple other classes spawn with one as well striker and a few others tip number two if you're the only remaining survivor on your team use the cloak ability to revive your teammates it doesn't last very long in horde it's 15 seconds and escape it's seven and a half seconds but it can help keep enemies from not shooting you for a duration of time because when you go cloak the enemies stop shooting at you and just stand there while you can go revive your teammates so that's a useful ultimate ability in that situation tip number three if you're frozen by an ice cyan or some freeze modifier like on ice queen or the split that has freeze modifiers or like a daily or that might have freeze mutators um you can use your ultimate to uh, get out of being frozen i have some clips of that that'll help you survive the situation and get back to safety in, in the very case that you're frozen by an ice cyan or like a look like a swarm sniper or an ice cream very useful to get out of that situation and uh, not die <laughs> granted if you do have stim you will sponge that's for a sniper hit but in case you don't you can always use the ultimate if you have it available tip number four really important is flashbangs are your friend when dealing with neutralizing bosses any bosses and pretty much any type of enemy like if you want to deal with a carrier or a snatcher you can flash it use your ultimate get an active with the overkill or a nasher and then just spam away at the critical spots of the enemies because the passive ability is that you get 10 times the damage out of your first shot out of cloak so flashbanging the enemy will ensure that you get the upper hand in that situation so make sure to always equip them and buy them from the fab or you could meet shield elite grenadiers and more they'll give you flashbang as well tip number five Make sure that you have an active on your Nasher or Overkill prior to using your ultimate. So that seems pretty obvious, right? Like, you want actives to do more damage. So you want to make sure that you do as much damage once you get out of cloak. So that passive kicks in and you do 10 times that damage on the first shot. And then because of blood resonance, the bleeding enemies take even more shotgun damage. So you can keep spamming the Overkill or Nasher on the boss. And then you get the ultimate again, which gives you another opportunity to, to use the cloak and then do 10 times damage again and repeat the process so yeah tip number six you can activate the cloak ultimate at the end of escape hives or to temporarily stop enemies from rushing outside typically useful if you're like soloing hives on high difficulties and you're like low on ammo and you just don't have time to fight everything that's rushing out you can like wait for the door to close a little bit and then like if there's too many enemies rushing out a lot of retakes or jubies you can just use your cloak and uh, that'll make the enemies stop aggroing you and uh, stop rushing outside so that's useful there yeah so the enemies will remain stationary briefly until your ultimate ends giving you some breathing room so uh anything else about infiltrator that i wanted to mention want to bring this class to escape really good class i'd recommend bringing it on almost every hive the wanderer and the line those are the only two hives where you cannot get an asher or an overkill from either a supply room or an enemy pretty much every hive you're going to get an asher or overkill infiltrator is great to bring and escape when it comes to daily hordes infiltrator is great too one of the mutators that positively influence the infiltrator are close range gambit and super energy so it's a cqc class so close range gambit is going to help it a lot get extra damage within 10 meters super energy is really nice for everybody infiltrators especially because they have movement speed they can pick up the power faster stuff like that mutators that uh, probably wouldn't recommend an infiltrator the hordes are like reduced bleeding damage that's the main one every time you have reduced bleeding damage any character that does any bleed actually is useless because they can only do 10 percent of the damage that they would normally do and uh the other mutator really negatively affects the infiltrator is heads up you're pretty much only limited classes that are precision weapon based veteran and the marksman really so just wanted to add that in there too that is pretty much it for the infiltrator tips and tricks thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video y'all have a good one peace